Okay, let's get started. First, we'll take three scoops of potassium permanganate and put them in a small jar. Then, we'll take two scoops of sugar and add them to the jar. Then, we'll mix everything together really good to crush any big chunks. Now, we'll add five milliliters of water. And it turns really dark purple. I think that's enough because it covered it. And now I'm going to put it in the thermometer. And now, see what happens. Whoa! Okay, so it just, just suddenly started like boiling. It's really hot. It is 200 degrees Fahrenheit. That was awesome. Still boiling. 210 degrees Fahrenheit. This is crazy. It's steaming. That was awesome. It just suddenly started like foaming and steaming. Still really hot. It's about 195. It's cooling off now, so the reaction is basically done. That was awesome. So that is what potassium permanganate does to sugar. Yeah, so that reached about 105 degrees Celsius or 210 degrees Fahrenheit. That was really interesting. So we have left in here like some black, like weird stuff. This is what it looks like after adding 10 milliliters of water. Mix it up. So now Instead of being purple, it's a brown color. This comes from manganese dioxide and other compounds made when the potassium permanganate reacts with the sugar. So yeah, this is manganates and like some stuff. Because the sugar was broken down by the potassium permanganate into carbon dioxide, which escaped through the jar, and a whole bunch of heat. So as for the brown stuff is left behind, getting rid of it's easy. Just take 3% hydrogen peroxide, you can buy like from a drugstore or whatever, and then pour it in, and it'll foam all over the place. This is the hydrogen peroxide releasing oxygen and oxidizing the brown manganese compounds that are left over. Now keep adding it until it doesn't foam as much, then just pour in some vinegar. Just pour in a decent amount. Then, if it, if it doesn't clear up, Add a little bit more hydrogen peroxide, and it'll foam, and then turn into a mostly clear solution with just some black stuff remaining. This can just be like scrubbed out or whatever. It's like the remnants of the sugar and some manganese dioxide. So now I'm gonna do it again, except I'm gonna use powdered sugar instead of regular sugar to get a faster reaction, and then just use a tiny bit of water, one scoop of potassium permanganate and one of powdered sugar, and now I'll mix the two together really well. So they'll, they'll be able to react quickly. Okay, so I'm going to add a drop of water. So thanks for watching this video, I hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe, and click here to see an awesome laser test.